he told the guy, he said, when you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. I don't know how many of y'all got asthma here today, but if you ever had an asthma attack before, you short of breath, SOB, short of breath, you wheezing. The only thing you're trying to do is get some air. What's good? We are back with another brrrr banger. If you guys click on this video, this video is for you guys. We're all going to improve together. Now, this is all about being the best version of yourself creating discipline and striving to be the better version of yourself that you are that is within you if you're laying on the bed watching this if you're in your room watching this if you're on the couch if watching on tv whatever you're watching this after this video i want you to get up okay after the video though make sure you watch the entire video but i want you to get up and i want you to do something productive whether it be reading a book or creating a list of plans and goals that you have guys look we have what five months and I don't like putting a time frame on things because, you know, things flow when you are ready. Because this is, this is you versus you. This is not a race with anybody else but you. If you need a day, like a rest day, understand. Because, of course, we're human. You feel me? We need those days to just rest, relax. But then, of course, we're going to get right into the grind and just start elevating and doing small things every single day. Bro, you know what's so crazy that I noticed in this generation? How many people, they endlessly scroll. People don't look each other in the eye anymore like they used to. Or uh, people are walking and looking at the floor. That all stems from a deep-rooted insecurity. And it's so crazy because many people, they consume social media. Now, don't get me wrong. You know, I do consume social media, but I also execute and I create. So I'm creating. So I use social media, and you guys want to use social media to inspire you, create new ideas. Like If, you, if you're following someone you're inspired by, you don't want to just keep watching them live their life. You want to... Okay, let's watch the video and then become inspired and then produce, put things out, put videos out, create something, do something that with your career, long-term goal, your dream, whatever it is, you want to make sure you tackle that and not just watch someone else live out their dream, you feel me? Many people today are just consumers. They're just constantly like swiping, 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 swiping. Now, of course, like it gets so freaking addicting. Like, I'm not going to lie. That's why I had to delete TikTok because baby, I was like literally on TikTok for hours. And then one day I was like, what am I doing? And within that hour, I could literally have filmed a video and edit a video. Now you guys understand, like, time is so precious when it comes to this journey of, like, self. You know, creating discipline, creating small habits, and it's getting a journal, guys, and writing down your why. Okay, and I think the why is very, very, very important and very vital to, like, your journey of success and your journey of improvement. See, when you're writing down your journal, guys, you're able, let's say by next year, okay, let's say you've been writing your journal for a whole year, then next year you can look back and see your progress, like, wow, I only had 50 subscribers, or I lost this X amount of weight, you feel me? So having a journal, writing it every single day will help you to see where you started and now where you're at, you feel me? And it will help you to create that appreciation and that gratitude to where you're at, instead of being like, dang, like, you know, I, I didn't lose this, or I could do better at that. It's You want to be grateful for where you're at. When you have that journal, you can put down your why. Why do you want to start this business? Why do you want to lose weight? Why do you want to self-improve? Why, why, why? Because the why. The reason why the why is very important is it's not going to be rainbows and ponies every single day. There may be something that may happen in your life. It feels like to you that things are coming down and things are happening to you. And then, you, you know, you always have to have that why in the back of your head, no matter what. You have to understand that when you're depressed, when you don't feel like getting out, when you don't feel like doing the things, when you don't feel like going to the gym, when you don't journal, when you're not taking proactive and small steps every day for yourself, that shows a lack of self-love and self-discipline for yourself. You have to understand that when you're getting up every day, when you are you know, doing small things for you. You want to also make sure you're celebrating the small wins because if you did not appreciate the small wins, there's no way you're going to appreciate the big wins. You feel me? Another big thing, guys, to understand is to block out any negative or doubting voices that may be your family, your friends, your peers, whatever it may be that prohibits your, your growth and your journey. Many people are going to try to stunt your progress um, due to their own fears and due to their own insecurities so they'll portray it on you so you can give away your own dream and the biggest thing that you can do biggest mistake you can do is to fall for it and to believe 
their insecurities and their lies they project on you. You have to distance yourself from those people who don't want to see you succeed, don't want to see you win, and who just talk doubt into you. Like, you gotta let go of those people. Those people are the type of people who will doubt you, and then once you make it, they'll be the ones that'll be like, yeah, I knew, I knew you could do it along. Like, nah. Do not listen to the people who are not living the life that you want to live. You feel me? If they're living in mediocrity and they're being mediocre, they're not working out, they're not self-improving, they're not doing anything to benefit their own life, then why would you even take advice from those type of people? Like, don't even get in the time of the day. You feel me? You want to inspire people who are goal-oriented, who wants to succeed, who wants more of their life, who wants to, you know, create useful habits, and who will also push you when they see you like, oh, you may be slacking, you feel me? And they will help you and they'll push you to create those useful habits. New habits starts by just starting, you feel me? The many people are like, oh, I'm gonna start when I eat healthy. I'm gonna start when I have this money followers. I'm gonna, like, all of that is BS, okay? The time that you start is the time that you're ready. That you stick to that goal and that you do it for you and do it because you want to. When it comes to anything in your life, like the only way that you're going to be successful and stick with it is because you want to do it and because you have the desire to do so. Discipline stems from self-love. When you love yourself, when you value yourself, when you want to succeed, you have to be so, you know, honestly selfish when it comes to yourself. You just have to be selfish. I know people are like, oh, like, you know, they use selfish in a bad way, but in the selfish in the sense of like, you have that desire to want to succeed. You have the desire to want to improve and being selfish with your time because time is so valuable. And many people, they lack the understanding of time. If you do have a snippet out there, somebody you're talking to and they're like, oh, like, why are you not texting me back? Why are you not FaceTiming me? Like, what's going on? You don't love me. You don't like me. Whoa, blah, 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 blah. They don't understand the importance of a minute. They don't understand the importance of time. You know how much you can get done in 10 minutes? You know how much you can get done in an hour? The person you're talking to, your friends, your family, they don't understand that, oh, like, why are you always editing? Oh, why are you always doing this, 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 criticizing, critiquing? You gotta discipline yourself from those people. You also discipline yourself. When you are slacking, when you are not going to the gym, when you are not reading, when you are not, you know, doing things that you promised yourself to do, you have to hold yourself accountable. You cannot expect anybody to hold you accountable but yourself. Because no one's gonna do it for you. Plain and simple. Failure is part of the journey. Failure is part of the success. You're gonna have to fail. Like if you wanna start a YouTube channel, you gotta start with one subscriber. <laughs> you know what I mean? Understand that without consistency and without persistence, you're not gonna get anywhere. You're not gonna even move the needle. You have to understand that consistency wins all the time. How, like, how do you expect to win when you're not consistent? You gotta do it over and 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 over again, something clicks. And when you're when you're locked in to whatever you're doing, you're gonna then look up and you're a whole different person. The friends you thought they were friends, they're gonna be gone. You're gonna be like, what the heck, where did everybody go? And all that's left is you. It really is you and you. You decide what time you're gonna wake up. You decide when you're gonna eat. You decide if you're going to clock in mentally. You decide if you're going to become consistent. You decide every single factor in your life. And of course, there's going to be hiccups, but that's all part of the game. I hope this video inspires somebody to start. And I think the biggest thing too, guys, is lock in, focus. The relationships will come later. The money is going to come later. Just focus on what you can do right now. But I wish you guys health, wealth, and positivity. And I hope you guys subscribe to the channel if you're new. And if you have any like pointers that you want to point out, please don't be scared to like comment. You know, I read all the comments. Anyways, adios and love you all.